up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report, FAA to update before you fly app, drones to rescue in Alabama, and EHAN plans US IPO. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Our top story of the day, the FAA has partnered with Kitty Hawk to redevelop before you fly, to create a new and improved app to help drone users learn where they can and cannot fly. The project is being done at no cost to the FAA. The Before You Fly app will continue to be available to the public until the new app is deployed. The data will continue to be updated, but no new features will be added. The acting FAA administrator, Dan Elwell, was quoted as saying, We want to provide drone pilots with the best tools possible so they fly safely and responsibly. The agreement made by the FAA and Kitty Hawk back on February the 13th will provide the public with a mobile application that provides recreational drone pilots with situational awareness. The app is scheduled to launch this year. Now let's take a quick look at a few stories making rounds in the small UAS and hobby drone communities in this week's Drone Minute. The FAA UAS Symposium is back on schedule after previously being canceled due to the government shutdown. The symposium will take place on June 3rd through the 5th at the Baltimore Convention Center in Maryland. The event will bring together stakeholders from all sectors to discuss rules and concepts that will govern the future of drone operations. Drone surveillance programs are now a major player in the fight to end poaching in South Africa. This program was introduced about five years ago with about 1,215 rhinos killed by poachers in the year 2014 alone. Poaching these endangered animals is big business due to the market for their horns in various parts of Asia. Sentara has announced the release of their 2019 PHX fixed-wing drone. The drone has been equipped with a longer-range high-speed data link, an omnidirectional antenna system, and a high-capacity battery. All of this will make imaging and scouting larger areas easier and faster. Aero News Network is pleased to bring you the second part of drone expert KC Sealock DJI Mavic Pro Drone Review. For a more in-depth look at the functionality behind this drone platform, please check out our YouTube channel. Now back to the news. Following the tragic southeastern U.S. tornadoes that have killed 23 people to date, drones are being used in recovery and rescue operations. Private and commercial drone operators are being used to survey damages done to homes and businesses caused by the tornadoes. These surveys allow rescue and insurance operators to estimate damage and rebuilding requirements. Infrared and other airborne technologies have been used to spot the injured and get them help as soon as possible. Law enforcement and rescue officials have stated that a single drone can do more than a dozen searchers on the ground, all while providing solid data in a more timely manner. Chinese drone company Ehang is planning an initial public offering in the U.S. in order to raise a half a billion dollars. While Ehang has had its issues breaking into the drone market, it has made a lot of news in the process. The company made serious headlines three years ago with their first showing of the Ehang 184. The drone was designed as a first-generation attempt to lay out technology for small passenger drone operations. The aircraft underwent manned and unmanned testing last year and demonstrated its ability to cruise at about 100 miles per hour. The company also claimed a Guinness World Record for most drones flown simultaneously through a 13-minute flight that utilized 1,374 drones. And that wraps up our AMA Drone Report. This program is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. Get real-time 24-7 coverage on the latest in aviation and aerospace news anytime at aero-news.net. Please tune in tomorrow for an episode of Airborne Unlimited. I'll see you then.